A full startup disk is something pretty common, especially if you have a MacBook Air or Pro with a fast but small SSDs. In this video, we'll go through several options available to fix a startup disk full problem. First thing to do is empty the trash. It sounds obvious, but it is important. To delete files, control, click your trash, select, and click empty trash. Another shortcut to send files to the trash is highlighting the files you want removed and pressing the command and delete keys. Perhaps this is enough for you. If you still need more space, let's keep going. Finding and deleting large files will get your computer running a lot more efficiently. It is important not to skip this step as it is single-handedly the most efficient way to clear up the most space on your drive. Open up a new finder window from your desktop by going to the top left corner, clicking File, and click New Finder Window. To get through this step faster, hold the Command and N key. This opens up your Finder Window. Now go to your gear icon, scroll down to where it says Show Search Criteria. Movie files take up a grand amount of space. I'm going to choose Kind as Movies. This will show all of your movie files. So add another criteria to find the largest movie files. To do this, select Kind as Other. Type in file size. Delete those by highlighting the files you want removed, pressing Command and Delete, emptying them to the trash. Movies are going to take up a lot more space than other files, so make sure you delete your movies first. The next easiest thing to do is to clean up downloads of movies. You'll be surprised by how many gigabytes accumulate when you're not paying attention. Just look through the downloads folder and filter out the downloads you don't need. Sort them by file size to make the process more efficient. Another memory hog that we can easily remove is the stored cache data from your browser. This data is automatically created when visiting a website and exists so that the next time you visit that same website, it loads faster. Sounds great, right? The problem is that if you only visit a website once and never visit again, you still have those damn files on your computer taking up space. Here's how to do it manually. Click on the magnify glass in the top right corner. This is your spotlight search. Here you can search for mostly anything on your Mac. Search terminal in the search bar. You will see text that could be your name. Highlight this text and copy it. Open Finder, paste the text in the search bar. Click on the house icon. Click on it, and then find the caches folder. Once you're in here, organize the files by size and see if you can spot any really large folders. I do not always agree with deleting apps as most of them are really small. However, Every now and then, there are a few really big ones taking up valuable startup disk space. Go through your Applications folder and identify applications you rarely use. To uninstall apps the right way, go to your Apps folder, right-click the application you want to delete, click Show Package Contents, otherwise drag the whole application into the trash. Well, that's about it. If you still need more space at this point, you either need to reformat your computer or purchase more space from a third party. Now that we are done, don't forget to empty your trash can one last time to lock in the storage space. Thanks for watching.